potential difference is measured in units of volts. And it measures the drop in energy of the charge as it flows around the circuit and through a component. Remember that the cell or power source, electrical power source, is like a pump of electrical charge and it also gives that charge energy. The potential difference across a component can be measured by connecting a voltmeter, a voltmeter in parallel with the component. Last time we connected an ammeter to measure the current in the circuit and that ammeter went in series. That actually went in the loop of the circuit. But now if we want to measure the voltage drop, that's the energy drop of the charge, we will need to connect a voltmeter in a different way. So let's take a quick look at this situation and here is our cell. Here's the wire coming around and we have a junction here and this is actually creating a parallel circuit in this section which then returns back to the cell. Now the positive side of the cell is the longest line and that means that that charge, positive charge will be pushed around in this direction and this is what we call conventional current and that's got the symbol I. This cell is giving that charge energy so you can think of the charge perhaps as bags of bags of charge with energy all in a big traffic jam being pushed around this circuit and as these bags of charge go into this junction some will go on the upper branch and some charge will go on the lower branch. Now they'll both still have the same energy. It's just that the, the flow has been split into two, just like a, a water pipe. If you had hot water going into this junction, you would still have hot water in this upper, upper junction, upper branch and you'd still have the same hot water in the lower branch, it's just the flow would be less. Now once this charge goes through the component, it will give up its energy, and that's, and uh, there we are. And so what we have here is a potential difference, an energy difference before and after. So how would we connect a voltmeter to measure that difference? Well, a voltmeter needs to check both points, so it will have one probe measuring the, the energy at this point before the lamp, and its other connection will measure the energy after the lamp, the energy of the charge after the lamp, and it will go, aha, we've lost this amount of energy and that will give us a voltage reading, a potential difference. Potential difference in volts. And the same would be true across this resistor underneath here. In fact, because all of these wires are connected, this is exactly the same thing as connecting a voltmeter in this position. We're measuring the temperature of the water before and after, or the energy of the charge before and after. And that energy of the charge will be the same here as it is here. So these positions are exactly the same to measure the potential difference across the lamp and also the potential difference across the resistor. They will be the same potential difference. The charge then combines at this junction and returns back to the cell. So I hope that makes some sense and we need to be talking in terms of potential difference across a component and a voltmeter must be connected in parallel so we could connect it here for example 
in order to measure the potential difference, the voltage drop across the component.